Hi, I'm Chris, and today is May 21st, and this is a tour of my Bay State kitchen garden. Here's the last of my tomato seedlings hitting, hidden under the bench because it's going to be rainy tomorrow. i got to find some places for them in the garden. But right now, the garden is packed full of stuff. We're going to do a little tour and talk about it all. Very rainy early part of the month. So it was a little late getting stuff in the ground, but uh, feeling good about it now. Let's take a look at this pretty vista here. Flowers around the rain barrel. It's a new container garden over here. Got some smaller pots with some peppers, some rosemary that I rooted in the house. Over here, under these covers, lots of basil just transplanted out. Just wanted to give them a chance to be out of the sun to start out. Tomatoes. Transplanted the last three or four days. I was waiting until the weather was a little better. Got some cold coming up, but they did get a couple of warm days to get settled in. These guys are going to be planted later. Here's my new cloth planter, the trendy thing. It's not bad. Uh, this is all some uh, mustard greens that I'm going to be eating in the next few days and in the middle. Middle of pepper. And then over here, we've got some spinach. I started it inside and then transplanted it out. I liked the way that worked out. Potatoes over here. Stepping away from the new garden, we're going to head over to the old garden. First, the rhubarb patch. Looking good. We now have a little, I now have 11 rhubarb plants. Tomatoes over here, getting settled in. More basil. Raspberry patch. Did some transplanting in of stuff growing up in the path, which I then mulched right here. Filling in some spots. It is an old rhubarb patch. I mean, excuse me, old raspberry patch needed some renewal. Here we have scallions and the purple passion asparagus. Some peas coming along. More peas here. My tiger lilies. Grew those from those little bulbets on the side. I've talked about that before. Undercover here. Just settling in some pepper transplants. Another patch that are revived, rather like the raspberries, some of my uh, strawberries. I planted some runners, getting those comfortable now. More asparagus over here. Got some uh, sweet williams I grew from seed in the garden. And we have some cover crop here. It's a mix of field peas and oats, and we'll be ground in to... This is not a really good bed. The soil wasn't great, so I hope that grounding that in will improve the soil. Passing more asparagus onto the blueberries, which are doing well this year. I only sprayed a little bit with spinosad. There were not as many winter moths as in the past. Super psyched about that. All right, now we're going to go into the fenced garden. Already caught one woodchuck this year. Uh, hope it's not going to be as many as last year. Potatoes, peas, the thyme is blooming. Over here we have some beans from last year that self-seeded in. It wasn't a bad spot, so I'm going to keep them. A few new strawberry plants I bought in. And in here I've seeded a lot of flower seeds, and then there's going to be a zucchini in the middle. I put a marker to remind myself a zucchini elite is going to go in there so I don't plant anything else. Potatoes, onions, under this row cover we've got some broccoli rob, bok choy, protect them from the cabbage moths. Just finishing up, they're starting to bolt with radishes. Same thing with this arugula. A little bit of romaine in there, too. And starting to bolt also under the cover. Mesclun mix. More sweet williams here. A pepper in there. Self-seeded sunflowers. Love those. And then here I've planted rattlesnake pole beans. I'll be adding lots more poles. Tie them into this, uh, what it was, it was a bird feeder pole, but now it's going to be for the beans. Planted in the very back of this bed, I have planted a few moonflowers on the corners of the garden, and right next to it some scarlet runner beans. Bush beans are under this cover to protect them, uh, because they do not need to be pollinated by insects. I did some research on that to make sure. And then this bed, that'll be coming along later. i got to go get some compost for it. Uh, over here you'll see the alliums. I've got both hard neck and soft neck garlic on the corners there, chives, onions in there as well, uh, including some of my uh, walking onions, the Egyptian walking onions. Peach tree looking good. And behind it, I've transplanted some of my blackberries, and we're going to see how they all do. So 
So that is a tour of my Bay State Kitchen Garden on May 21st, 2017. Thanks.